but today uh, we've heard so many good things about her. So befitting. But it's my time not to talk about Sister Gwen because she didn't die for no one. We're here knowing that there's only two types of people that are here. And I'm not just talking about saints and sinners. I'm talking about those that are prepared and those that are not prepared. What we're experiencing here is nothing new. When the Bible tells us that it is appointed unto man wants to die. But after this, come the judgment. You're going to find out, I'm going to find out whether I'm prepared or unprepared. And that's the wrong time. To find out that you are not prepared. Let me read a passage of scripture out of the book of Amos. Out of the fourth chapter. Y'all just give me a little time. I know time is far spent, but... The reason we're here, we need to know whether or not we are prepared to meet our maker. One thing about it, you don't want to come before God unprepared. I'm going to read a passage of scripture here. Verse 12. God speaking to Israel. Therefore thus will I do unto thee, O Israel. And because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. You can be seated. I don't have time to read all of this. But the thing about this, God, God had come to a conclusion after warning Israel time and time and time again. That all this time that I didn't warn you, I didn't show you this, I done, all of the, your wealth, I didn't destroy that, uh, your crops, I didn't destroy those, and I, I did this. And you still won't return unto me. We're here today with people that have experienced a, a lot of adversity in their lives, a lot of negativity, yet have not returned to God. I wish time would, would permit for me to deal with just this from verse 1 to verse 12, and there's some awesome teaching here. But we find the things that were going on here is something that because of Jeroboam. What Jeroboam had did, he came together with Rehoboam and he didn't like what Rehoboam said. So he had a fear that the children of Israel were going to go back to Jerusalem. And so he decided, I don't want them going to Jerusalem to worship, I'm going to give them an alternative to worship. So you don't have to go to Jerusalem to worship. You can come to Bethel. Or either you can come to Gilgal. But Amos said you can come to, to Bethel to sin, to commit transgression. 
So people are not looking that which going to change their lives. They're looking for a place where they can go and sin. They don't want to go to Jerusalem because there are standards there. So Rehoboam, out of his own heart, set up his own priest, handpicked his own priest. We don't want the one that God had. We, we want our own stuff. And y'all have to excuse me because I haven't cried my last tear yesterday. I still got some more tears to cry. But right now, now I, and I might break down here, but right now, I'm, I got a job to do. Because I'm looking at people that are not prepared. Oh yeah, you going to church. You on somebody church roll. Your name is on the roll, your holy position. But you are not prepared. And I'm going to start with me. As you look at all of the, the pastors and ministers that are here today. I don't have the power to tell you it's okay to sin. I don't have the power to say, I could stand up here and lie. So you sin and I sin, everybody sin, then I'll be going to hell too. But see, God got somebody that's living a life. Apostle Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. And so I'm not messing up. Paul said, I'm not messing up. I'm an ambassador for Jesus Christ. And so now the time is you got to examine yourself and see whether or not I'm prepared. Because people are selling out for nothing. Selling out for things that doesn't matter. Come on, talk to me. But the thing is, prepare to meet that God. Whether you know it or not, it is appointed. Until man wants to die. See, if he would just die and go back to the dust, that would be okay. But after this comes the judgment. That's going to be a judgment day. You, you, you're going to have to rise up. And you're going to have to stand before God. And you're going to have to give an account of every deed done in your mortal body. And I don't care. You run around and say, my pastor doesn't see me. If this one doesn't see me. Let me tell you something. God has an all-seeing eye. His eyes are in every place. Beholding the good and the evil. Bless him up and heal somebody. Woo! Oh, glory to God. Somebody said, we can't, I thought this was the funeral. This is All that other mess. I don't know, folks. See, I couldn't sit up and do like some of you all. Just talk about the person that died. They ain't died for nobody. But these, some of you, some of you are going to, every one of you out here, you're going to die. I'm going to die. But I heard, ain't nothing wrong with dying. But he said, blessed are they that die in the Lord. Henceforth saith the Spirit. You better make sure that if you die, that you die in the Lord. That you die living holy. That you die living righteous. That you die living godly. In this present world, bless him somebody. Woo! Oh, glory to God. See, somebody playing game. Somebody think they're ready. But you know what Apostle Paul just said, I think. He said, I know. If this earth, the house or this tabernacle be dissolved, that we got a building. It's not made with hands, but it's eternal into the heaven. So you, in order to get there, you got to be prepared. The Bible says, to as many other county words to get there. See, somebody asked a question and said, Master, this man had a wife. He, he died and his brother took him. And so all the way up to seven brothers, there, all, they died and the woman still left. Master, can we ask you something? They didn't believe in the resurrection. They were then only to entangle him in, their, in his speech. Said, Master, whose wife will she be in the resurrection? Jesus said, to those that are counted worthy to get there. You got to be counted worthy to get to heaven. Because heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. Prepared, prepared, prepared to meet that God. You don't want to come before God. I'm 
prepared. You don't want to come before God and your works are not done. Your works are not wrought in the Lord. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Your name is on somebody's church roll. Can I just give me a reader? I'm going to be finishing just a little bit. Y'all just indulge me. Somebody in, in, in uh, Jeremiah 7, beginning at verse 1. This is a message to church folks. Come on, somebody read. Wait a minute. Jeremiah got a word that came from God. What did he say? Stand in the gates of the Lord's house. And proclaim there this word. Hold it. That's, that's my house. Why do I have to stand at the gate? If it's my house, why do I have to stand at the gate? But God said, Jeremiah, I can't get in so they ain't going to let you in. So while they're going in, you preach that. Come on. What do you want to say? And say, hear the word of the Lord. This is what time it is for folks to hear the word of the Lord. We have heard enough from the preachers. We need to hear the word of the Lord. We need to hear what thus saith the Lord. Amen. Don't care if you don't ever like it. Read. All ye Judah that enter in at these gates to worship the Lord. Wait a minute. Uh -oh. They come in to worship. But you got to stand out here and preach to them. When they going inside to worship. Come on. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Amend your ways and your doing. God said change. It's time for a change. Amend your ways and your doing. And I will cause you to dwell in this place. And I will cause you to dwell in this place. Come on. Trust ye not in lying words. Uh -oh, somebody trusting in lying words. Uh -oh, uh -oh. You think you're going to heaven and your life full of sin if the dog he'll flee. Only according to Matthew 5 and 8. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. If your life is sin infested. Hell is your next stop. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Jesus did not die for you to lie still. And commit adultery. To smoke your dough. To gamble. You only ain't saying nothing. To scratch and match. He died that you might not perish. But have everlasting life. Bless him somebody. I want you to stand there and preach it. Because you got folk going to church. And they're coming out unprepared. Read the book. Trust ye not in lying words. Saying the temple of the Lord. The temple of the Lord. The temple of the Lord are these. For if you truly amend your ways. I and mean, your doing. You got to make sure you're clean for real. You can't have a, a little, little, you know that real cream stuff, a little dab will do you. No, no, you got to get it all out. You got to get it all out. Come on and talk to me. You got to get it out. We have been instructed to lay aside every sin in every way that so easily beset us. You know that we live in a day and time. You know they want to talk more about punks and sisters than they want to talk about sin. You got to be delivered of your sin. Jesus didn't die. You know, let me tell you something. Yeah, yeah. See, you must hate. No, 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 no. I, I, don't, I don't feel no more about a whole mother than I do a sister. I hate sin. But I love the individual. When you got these so-called Christians, March and my God hate gays, they're going to hell for lying. Because he hate liars. Because when Jesus died, he died for them too. He died for the whole world. I don't care what you were doing. I don't care what you were bound by. Jesus died for you all. Because when you go to 1 Corinthians 6, 9, and 10, and they talk about effeminate and all that, he says, such were some of you. Then you don't have to stay that way. But when you preach a gospel that got power, because the power lies in the gospel. Oh! 
the power lies in the gospel when Jesus said you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free when Jesus said you are cleansed through the words that I've spoken unto you I got this word has cleansing power and it gets sin out of your life listen I don't stand here like I came from heaven God saved me no I never smoked crack that wasn't in my day But when I was out there, when I pulled on that joint, I wasn't like Bill Clinton. I didn't inhale. I was in here. I made it light up, look like Rudolph knows. Come on, talk back to me. But I thank God that I'm saved now. So I just want to let you know that I, I didn't come from heaven. God saved me. God delivered me from my sin. And if God did it for me, he can do it for you. You all ain't saying nothing. Oh God, I'm no better than you. I'm just but blood washer and blood boulder. I'm not the same anymore because Jesus. Woo! We need a word. My God, that's going to prepare us for heaven. Because let me tell you something. The one sitting next to you, behind you, in front of you. My God, you're going to die. See, today is just Wednesday. But I don't know one day, my day, I'm going to be stressed out here. But there ain't going to be nothing but the box. Y'all ain't said something I didn't get there. When you go and buy that, that ha half gallon or whatever, that ice cream, you don't keep the box. When you haven't eaten everything out of it, you discard it because what's in the box is not necessary. Now. It's not there anymore. Y'all ain't saying nothing. My God, we cry because that part of us. We cry. We hate because that part of us. But oh my God, it's going to come a time that God going to bring us all back together again. And we got to stand before him. My God, we better make sure, my God, that our anchor holds and grip that solid rock, which is Jesus Christ. My God, I don't care who you are. Everybody needs to know who he is. Everybody ought to know who he is. Oh, bless him. See, let, 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 me, let me share something with you. I'm hella phobic. I'm scared of going to hell. I have a fear of hell. Somebody got a rack of phobia. They scared of spiders. But what if you, if you fear God, you run from spiders. Why don't you run from drugs? Why don't you run from that man that you're not married to? Y'all ain't going to talk to me up in here. My God, why don't you run away, my God, from the alcohol? Why don't you run away from the fornicating? My God, the adultery. Come on, talk back to me. See, when you become hellophobic, you, you preach this. Because, see, let me tell you something. I don't have to go out and commit no sin, though, John. All I got to do is just stand up here and don't preach the word. And I go to hell for not preaching the word. If you don't believe me, you go to Ezekiel 3, Ezekiel 18, Ezekiel 33. But because when I tell the watchman to warn the people, and they war warn the wicked, and they, and they don't warn them, and they die in their sin, I'm going to require their blood at your hand. You go into hell. But see, but when you preach this thing, my God, you didn't warn them. And they don't take heed to it. Uh -uh, you got clean hands. God, I, got, I told them what your word say. And everybody want to grab a Bible. But nobody want to live it and don't want to preach it. Uh, before Paul said, listen, you follow me as I follow Christ. But he told us something powerful. That the husband man that labored must be fast partaker of the fruit. I don't have time to talk about little red riding hood. Uh, she done done what she did. But you still doing that mess you're doing. You need a word that's going to change your life. It'll make a man be a man. It'll make a woman be a woman. Come on, talk back to me. 
might have give you a pride in yourself and your sexuality. You don't have to walk around here confused, mixed up and messed up. Now, y'all ain't going to talk to me, but somebody got to stand up, my God, and tell it like it is. I'm not like y'all old power, y'all, y'all God, y'all icon, that big neck bishop. By the time I died, died, what the Bible say? Fool, tell him what it say. He don't want to, he don't want to, he don't want them to know that, that it's wrong. So let, read the Bible. Fool, that's what you call yourself preaching. Yeah, yeah, and I don't yeah. care if you don't have like, And then no other white wolf. I don't care if y'all don't like it. You got a black wolf, you got a white wolf. And he down there to tell me, I don't deal with political issues. That's sin. Yeah. <laughs> Before they ain't come up with politics, it was, it was sin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't care if y'all don't ever like. You better go back to Genesis 1. You better go back to Genesis 3. You better go back. I got Genesis 19. My God overthrew a world. My two cities that were given over to homosexuality. You're going to hell. Punk, 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 punk. But I want to tell you, listen, El Toma don't hate you. I love you. And because I love you, I'll tell you the truth. How God, you can come out of your mess. You can be born again. You can be set free. How God, from all unrighteousness, you can live a life that's pleasing and acceptable in the eyesight of God. Let me tell you something that making excuses for sin. God said, I'm angry with you every day. I'm angry at the wicked every day. But I have no greater joy than to heal than my children. My children. They are walking in truth. How God, they're doing what the word says. They obey in the word. Bless him, somebody. Prepare to meet that God. It's time to get right. You don't want to come before God unprepared. Listen. See, I'm beyond all this fool. You don't supposed to judge nobody. No. I'm going to do this little illustration. I'm not going to mess with my. You give me stuff. No, no. Get my stuff. I, I got my Bible. I need you to get my stuff. Come on, I'll tell you, you're moving a little slow. Time is out the essence. Because people, they, 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 they run around there and tell me they don't want no be judged. They don't want you messing with their mess. How many of y'all know what this is? This ain't no mirror, this a judge. The reason you look in this mirror is so you can tell you how you look. So he can tell you what's out of place. So you can get it right. And not one, one time that you done slunk it out and said, you a lie mirror. My, I, I don't have no stuff in my eyes. All you do is just get the, run the water, get your towel and wipe it out. Because it tells to have some mess in your eyes. Get it out. You got some dry saliva on your mouth. Get it out. And you, you don't complain. You just do it. When the word tells you, say, wrong the whole monger, you want to keep on whole monging anyhow. You act like you're crazy. You, you know what the word say. You know what you're doing. That's wrong. Come on and talk to me. The Bible tells us, according to 1 Corinthians 7, 1 and 2, it's good for a man not to touch a woman, but nevertheless to avoid fornication. Fornication, sex out of wedlock. Let every man have his own wife. Let every woman have her own husband. Somebody should have jumped up and ran around the church right there. Do y'all know what the acronym S-I-N Y'all know what that is? Stop it now. Whatever you're doing, stop it. If you're homemongering, stop it now. <laughs> if you're fornicating, stop it now. You sucking on cigarettes, stop it now. You sucking on the straight shooter, stop it now. Come on, talk back to me. I got you, I got you, you hitting a little bit, you better stop it now. Because wine is a marker, and strong drink is raging, and whosoever deceived thereby, it's not wise. Somebody, that's all I do. That's all it takes to go to hell. Because it's a little living, the living the whole lump. It's 
It's our responsibility. Pastor told me, give me Acts 26, 18. And I'm finished with this. If God says so. <laughs> Come on, somebody read really quick. Holy, this is the ministry of God. He didn't give us to do nothing else. And I don't care if you don't ever like it. God, this is the ministry to every man of God. They don't have nothing else. This is it. He gave me a gift of, of prophecy. Oh, no, no, no. That be my gift. But he didn't just tell you to go around prophesying. You better tell them what the words say. The purpose of God calling you to, in the, to the ministry is to do what? You got the open blinded eyes just like I'm doing today. I got folks are blind to sin. And they think they're going to go to heaven living in sin. Come on. This is the, the preaching of the gospel to turn people. And people are not going to turn until they become convicted in their heart. Because if they feel like it's all right to do what they're doing. They're going to keep on doing it. But they got to become convicted in their heart. You got to preach this word so that when they look at themselves I got to say I got to get changed. I got to get my life together. Come on read. See they run around. See Satan he, he ain't got no power. See you're going to hell for lying. That's what the Bible said. To turn you from power the power of Satan unto God. Only God can turn you from the powers of Satan. And see, some of you still in the bed with Satan. You're still running with him. No change. I wouldn't go to church and still go to hell. I well, you, you might well, I tell them here. Listen, you want to go to hell, go to hell first class. Ain't no sense of going to hell walking. Shoot, you, you need to a Phantom 5 Rolls Royce. Ain't no sense around you riding down seven, letting Pat shove one foot and letting nothing follow. You you need some some stuff. Folk going to hell for two or three rocks. <laughs> I wouldn't lose my freedom behind that foolishness. Made off. Ken laying it. They went to went to jail for I mean prison for me. And, and when they got out, they still I mean Ken Lay didn't but. That's all. When he got back out, he had me. He still had a place to go. If you get out, you go back and smell just as much as you've been before you went. You know why? You go back and stand on the same corner. You haven't learned anything yet. I don't care if you don't ever like it. And that's the evidence that you don't know who Jesus is. Because Jesus come into your life to change you. And therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. And behold, all things, not something, all things are become brand new. Oh, y'all need to, I, y'all need to be, y'all need to, hope that so you can see your face. Because y'all, some of y'all looking real funny about now. But, listen, this is what it's going to take for you to be saved. Going to church and holding positions in the church. I went to a funeral many times, you burned down, just throw it up in there. You can't throw sin up in there. You got to be delivered from sin. A bunch of foolishness. I ain't trying to play to the crowd. I'm telling you the truth. And some of you, see, y'all like me right now. Yeah, y'all like me. You're going to get out of there, I'll be the talk. Because that man preached. He ain't like the, like the other folk. Yeah, like the other the minister, the uh, uh, man, they say, you know, say, holy pastor, Tom, let me tell you this here. He said, when my real dad died, he said, and the man that preached this funeral, he said, my uncle was there. My uncle said, that ain't the man that preached my grandson funeral. That's not the man that preached my grandson funeral. Because you know, that's with smooth words and fast speeches. They deceive in the hearts of the simple. How long, you simple one, would you love simplicity? You better fall in love with God. You better start studying the word of God. All of this junk, they're getting off the uh, internet. Uh, all of this stuff, they don't get it in the closet. They don't get it. My on their knees and on their face before God. All these ready-made messages. 
Bitch, sometimes I head from my office to that door with a word. And God said, no, I want you to preach this. I don't turn around and go back and say, wait, God, I got to go get me some. No, no, I, I got to go with the flow. Because my, my concern is, is ministering to the needs of the people. I'm not trying to make people feel good. I want you to feel bad. I want you to feel bad enough that you'll stop doing what you're doing. That's wrong. I want you to have a mind to prepare yourself to meet God. Because when you stand before God, he, this time Jesus is not going to be the Savior. He's going to be the judge. Watch this. In Genesis 1, the Bible tells us in the beginning. In Revelation 22, 12, behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me. We got to all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And we're going to have to give an account. Revelation 22, 20. So quickly come I. All of that in your time is gone. Sunrise, sunset. Don't let us, the sun set while you're sinning. Don't let the sun set while you're still committing the door to being unfaithful to your mate. Listen. Wednesday, my wife and I... Celebrated 37 years. The same woman I have tipped out. This is it. I, I don't care how you got a bow on it. It's still the same thing. <laughs> I don't care how much junk you got in your trunk. It's still the same thing. I don't care if you don't ever like it. So when she's the one that's going to satisfy my needs, I'm going home to Brenda. So if any, <laughs> if any woman with a piece of a brain, I don't care how lewd and lustful she is. If she want to mess with me, I know she's a twofold fool. Because I don't have time for no foolishness. I got my own stuff to work with. Come on, talk to me. I got my own stuff to work with. If some of you got your own stuff to work with, work with it. Work with it. You, you, you ain't all that. Man, in my day, I, hey, I can get up. And somebody asked me, say, can you steal dunk? I said, yeah, donuts. <laughs> Insult me like that. Don't y'all know that the Bible said let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband? I said what I said. Listen, you ain't going to run as fast as you used to. You're going to go to the dance, but you ain't going to stay as long as you used to. I don't care if you don't ever like me. And then you're riding that. Now, God, you old and Methuselah, you, you, you trying to fix yourself up. You done went to the gym. You done worked out. You got a few lumps and bumps there. And now you thank you all that. I don't care what you do. Abe, when they confronted Abe, Abe said, you know, say we're dead and I am too. Now, how you, we going to do something? <laughs> yeah, she dead, I'm dead. How in the world are we going to do something? But God said, I can fix that. My, 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 my 
That woman down the street can't fix it. That man down the street can't fix it. It's just for a moment. Love your own wife. Love your own husband. Children, be obedient to your parents. You better have a mind to love God and to be obedient to every word that proceeded out of his mouth. Young people, don't be running around now sowing your, sow your oats. You got old fools right now telling young fools, sow your oats while you're young. There are consequences to sowing your oats. So you better make sure that you keep yourself from Miss Right and Mr. Right. Don't go around there and live a life of disappointment. Oh, oh, oh I'm, trying, I'm helping somebody. He, pre- he preaching this out of film. What else do you want me to preach? What else do you want me to preach? I can't preach to Gwen because she's already preached a film. But you, and you, and you, and you, you got a chance to get prepared to meet that maker. You want to stand before God. And we preachers, our job is to equip them, to prepare them to meet their God. Did we finish that? Who got that? You didn't finish Come on, come on, Elsa. You messed me up. The, the time is up there, Elsa. Come on. To open their eyes, to turn them from darkness to light, from the power of Satan to God. From the power of Satan, from, from the devil to God. You can't serve, no man can serve two masters. You can't serve God and the devil. So you got to make up your mind whether you want to serve God or you want to serve the devil. Because if you're trying to serve God, you're in the church, but you're still serving the devil, you're going to hell. I can't preach you in the heaven. And I'm not going to waste my time. I'm going to try, because I can't help you. That's just about. The, the soul is going back to God that gave it. And it's prepared. For the judgment. To give an account of every deed. Done in your mortal body. Let me say this. This Bible ain't worth 15 cents. Y'all know that? The words in this book is not worth 15 cents. Until that word have I hid in my heart. That I may not sin against thee. You got to get this word into your life. I'm talking about I'm saved. Saved from what? Saved from heaven to go to hell. When you save, your life changes. You don't stay the same. Becoming a church member, putting your name on a church roll, doesn't make you ready for heaven. And I don't want it. I don't want a quack doctor. I'm sick, but you can't heal me. You can't give me something to help me. I wouldn't follow a quack preacher. Just trying to sound good. He just, he just another low class performer. So why low class? Because T.D. Jake, T. Jake's a high class performer. You, 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 you ain't up there. You ain't in, I don't care if y'all don't ever like it. He's talking about my preacher now. You can go to hell. I'm going to tell you. Let us stand. Listen, we've heard enough about Ernest and Paco. That's Milo to you. He's Paco to me. I always have been. Y'all been awesome. Y'all. Have done an awesome job. And I just want to encourage you all. There's still a storm out on the ocean. And it's moving this away. You're going to have your moments. But it's okay. It's okay. I'll never tell nobody don't, don't cry. Get it all out. Get it all out. Don't don't ever be ashamed to cry. That's your release. But she done bless you all. She raised you all up. 
and she have imparted into you all wholesome thing. Now, you got to walk that in. Solomon speaking to his son said, My son, when sinners entice thee, consent thou not. What if we had other fathers that tell me that no, no, don't go out there and just have your phone, son. Just don't do your stuff until you wind up on the critical list. Because he was doing what you told him to do. No, you tell him to stand up and be a man. Be a man. Keep yourself. Keep yourself. When that time is right, you make a move. But don't, don't look at the facade. Don't look at all that stuff, you know, because they got a lot of junk in their trunk, but it, it's real junk. It ain't the real thing. Pack with stuff. You, you, you want a real woman. You want everything. You, you don't want no with false lips, false hips, false bottom, false breasts. You want, you, you want the package that's going to satisfy you. Don't let nobody come to you and say, hey, that, I, this, I, you need to meet this one. What you need to do who you the man? Because you're the last one I wanted some advice from. And I love you all. I love the family. This is difficult. But I pray that this is just the beginning for greater things for us. Mr. Powell and Stephanie and staff, thank you all so very much. Thank you all so very much. Y'all have done an awesome job. I know this is unusual for you all. But y'all have done an awesome job. You've been very accommodating and we're grateful for that. And to you all. I preach it tight because it's right. I preach, preach it strong because it's not wrong. But the reason I preach it that way because I love you. I don't want to see you die and go to a burning hell. When Jesus had paid a price, he shed his blood on Calvary, that you don't have to pay it. But how? Everlasting life. Every head bowed. He's calling. Saying, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. There should be no peace, said God, to the wicked. But you can have the Prince of Peace, which is Jesus Christ. Your life can be changed. I would hate for somebody, we, next week we're having a funeral for somebody that was here. And yet they still didn't prepare themselves to meet that God. All the blood is yet running warm in your veins. You can be changed. And you can be changed for real. Lord, forgive me of my sin. All of my sin. But I don't want to die and go to hell when you have provided me a way out. Right where you stand, just thank you for loving you. Just tell him, just thank you for loving you. Lord, thank you for loving me. As messed up as I was, you loved me. You gave your son. He came all the way from heaven to die on Calvary Cross for me. An unworthy individual. 
But he thought enough of me to die for me. He thought enough of you to die for you. God touch each and every one of our hearts. In this place. God give us a mind to change. And to do those things that are pleasing and acceptable in your sight. Do it for me, Jesus. And some of you said, I'm tired of living like I'm living, but today He can get it all out of your life. And make you a brand new creature in Christ Jesus. What a testimony. I went to a funeral and I got saved. I went to a funeral. Dead in my sins. And I left out of there alive in Jesus Christ. God, right now, touch that young man, that young lady that's, that's struggling in their life. Don't know which way to turn. But God, give them to the turn unto you. Turn unto the stronghold, you prisoner of hope. God, give them to the look unto you, the author and the finisher of our faith. In this place, make a new creature. God, I pray for our family. You are the center of our joy. God, if I don't have any joy, I won't have any strength. God, move in this way. And God, I pray for the pastors, these ministers, these elders. Touch them in a very special way. My heart's cry is that the will of the Lord be done. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you all of the praise. We give you all of the honor, all of the glory. In Jesus' name, come on and clap your hand for Jesus right now.